Hi everyone, I'm Marie and welcome to my channel. This video is dedicated to my Instagram followers because some weeks ago I asked there what people would like me to talk about in my next video and this was the most requested video. Honestly, I am not surprised since this is also the question that I get most frequently asked by you people which I totally get since it's a doubt that I myself had when I was applying to universities. So let's just get into it. So which college or university should you choose if you want to pursue a career in marine biology? Well, the answer to this question is not easy. And the reason for why it's not easy is because there really isn't a list of the top 10 best universities to study marine biology. Okay, Maria, then how should I choose a university? The best university for you will depend solely on what your goals are. Ask yourself what you want. If you still don't really know exactly what you want to do with your future and you just like marine biology or biology or marine sciences in general, then search for universities that offer a wide variety of courses and that have a wide variety of research opportunities. And the most important thing is that the university has research going on. Look for universities that have research groups working on things that you could potentially be interested in in the future. This will increase the chances of you integrating a research team while you are studying, which given the opportunity, you definitely should. You should even create the opportunity. Ultimately, your research experience and the people you know and have met along the way will be much more important in your future career than the university where you've studied. Additionally, if you have a wide variety of research groups to choose from and you have a wide variety of courses that you have attended, this will allow you to understand what it is that you like the most and will also allow you to ask people from different fields, professors or researchers alike, what you could expect in said field and perhaps be enlightened to what it is that you would like to do. Now, if you have a very specific idea of what you want to study in the future and are adamant that you will not change your mind, then perhaps look for universities that offer research opportunities in said field. However, if you're just freshly out of high school and are applying to universities, I would keep my mind open and allow yourself to experience different things as well. Because talking about myself, things that I thought would be the most amazing and exciting things to study in the end turned out to be not the most interesting things for me from a scientific point of view. And things that I thought would be very, very boring are things that in the end I really enjoy studying. Things are not always as they seem. Keep your mind open and if you have the chance, even if you think you know what you want, allow yourself to explore new avenues, even if only to prove yourself right, to say, yeah, this is a I really want this thing that I've always wanted and now I'm sure that that's exactly what I want. Now, regardless of whether you already know exactly what you want to do in your research or not, I still recommend that you take general biology and ecology courses. There are general, general biological and ecological concepts that every biologist should know. Just because you are working with marine ecosystems, this does not mean that you should not learn about terrestrial ecosystems. Everything is connected. In my personal opinion and perspective, going more general in your first couple of years of studying maybe is not such a bad idea. This will allow you to, first of all, learn about the general concepts in, of biology and ecology and even other scientific fields which might be and usually are very important, but will also allow you to explore other options that perhaps you didn't even think existed. If you are interested in hearing about my suggestions for courses you should take, I made a whole video just on that, which you can check it out. It will be linked down below. And that's it. And that's it. If you are now applying for college, do not stress too much about the college in which you are going to study. Down the road, the most important thing is your hard work, determination, and your experience or your working experience. I cannot stress enough how important it is in this field to do the extra mile. Talk to professors, talk to people doing research and try to understand or even participate in what they are doing. This will, first of all, give people a really good impression of you because it shows that you are interested and determined 
and will also perhaps open doors for you to integrate research teams. You never know. So be proactive and go for it. This is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have been away from YouTube quite a lot and because of that I have been much more active on Instagram where I post a lot of marine science, biology, PhD goodness. So if you are interested in following me on my PhD journey, uh, you can follow me there. Please, if you have any comments or suggestions or questions, leave them down below. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it and I yeah <laughs> and subscribe to this channel I promise you I have not abandoned it more videos will come I promise yeah thank you very much for being here and I hope to see you in the next video